Hello Georgia, I'm Liza Miller and this is your weekly update from Voter GA. This week, Voter GA announced that it had joined with State Representative Philip Singleton in a legal petition to ban Georgia's Dominion Democracy Suite 5.5 voting system. The voting system has already been declared in violation of Georgia law by the U.S. District Court in Northern Georgia. Georgia law requires a voting system to print an elector verifiable paper ballot and produce paper ballots which are marked with the elector's choices in a format readable by the elector. After reviewing extensive evidence in the Curling v. Raffensperger case, Judge Amy Totenberg concluded, Plaintiffs and, and other voters who wish to vote in person are required to vote on a system that does none of those things. The petition seeks temporary and permanent injunctions against the state's use of the new voting system on grounds that its unverifiability to the voter makes it illegal. The Dominion Democracy Suite 5.5 system uses touchscreen ballot marking devices to print voter selections with a QR code on a piece of paper. The scanner ignores the printed voter selections and read the QR code to determine candidates selected and to tabulate election results. The QR code is not human readable, even with a QR reader, and is thus illegal under Georgia law. The petition contends that Voter GA co-founder Garland Fabrito and Madison Forum President Michael Opitz warned Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger about the unverifiability of QR-coded systems like the Democracy Suite when he was a runoff candidate in 2018. Raffensperger did not heed the warnings and purchased the new Dominion system for over $100 million in 2019. The full press release is available at VoterGA.org on the press release page. If you would like to help us as we work to restore trusted elections here in Georgia, please visit VoterGA.org and go to the donate page. Thank you so much, and we will see you next time.